And I just love what I see. Six of Pentacles, reciprocation, joy and stability. Giving and receiving, joy and stability, marriage, family, um, important decisions, um, marriage proposals, all this beautiful stuff. Six of Pentacles, the sun, might be a Leo you are dealing with and boy, they love you back, right? That's giving and receiving. And for some of you, this is enlightenment, this is happiness, this is blissful life. Um, this is abundance in love, this is awakening in love for both of you. And the Seven of Swords, seek the truth, that is something hidden, that is something in the shadows that we need to pay attention to. Yes, it's happy, yes, it is reciprocated. And yet we need to see the red flags, okay? Now let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And we have the Four of Swords, just breathe. It is the energy of calming the nerves. It is the energy of um, staying put. It, it is the energy of not doing much and dealing with emotions and dealing with changes. Five of Cups, Five of Swords and the world endings. I'm sensing peace of mind after challenges and endings, you know, um, four of swords, do nothing, allow this to unfold and kind of come to a natural kind of death with the world. But let's see. So the shuffling was a lot of beautiful, positive energies and the overall energy is kind of like, I know that changed. So how about we go with the flow? So Aries, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the decades of pentacles, endings and new beginnings. I know. And we have the yeah, high priestess again. Um, so let's see, Aries. Let's see the recent past or the energies you pull from the past, you and this person. Seven of Cups and the Star card, the Aquarius energy. Um, I love to see the Heal card because we know healing started in the past. We know we've been confused. We know we've been challenged by a situation. Five of Swords, Five of Cups, we might have had a fight, we might have had a conflict, somebody walked away and then we had no choice but to um, deploy, right? The full army for healing. Um, and it's interesting, it's more of, it's, uh, it's interesting how I feel that it, um, it has been a mess and your main concern in the recent past or, you know, the past with this person was Okay, now let me see which way I can heal, right? What, what would be the best? Um, I know it's not about technique, but in a mean or tool for me to heal this situation. I'm sensing a lot of awakening, a lot of alignment, a lot of allowing, and um, also kind of having the eyes on the future. This is, you know, uh, being uh, kind of pointed towards the future. Um, and healing was, um, again, the only way to move. Now, this person of yours, Aries, Three of Swords, uh, blessed, hurt, uh, disappointed, and in quest for balance with the Two of Pentacles is the energy also of juggling the, the painful situation they were in, trying to make the best out of it, trying to work on it. Uh, on themselves and on the pain that was created uh, probably by a separation or by challenging times but, uh, and endings. Mutual energies between the two of you, seven of wands, choose your battles and eight of pentacles. Yes, there was pain. Yes, there was healing, but there was a lot of defensiveness and a lot of, I'm going to focus on my work. I am going to make the effort, you know, to kind of stay away from it. And um, it's interesting, it's like, it feels like uh, both of you, you healed in your corner. That's what they did, that's what you did, you know. So, um, yeah. Yeah, but it was a hustle, I know, Aries, I know. Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Seven of Wands, a lot of don't talk to me, 
a lot of um, you, you know um, kind of energies of, of, of screaming and yelling and blocking and don't talk to me don't come to see me that kind of energy you know and a lot of pain I I do believe they try to uh, make the effort Aries and uh, while trying to um, gain some sense of stability and balance while well, for you i believe you went into healing mode, mode right away it's like no thank you i'm done so where are we right now we do have the eight of wands success and growth and we do have the high priestess that is a lot of practicality and projects and uh, looking um, to the future combined with the energy of spirituality of listening to your intuition listening your to your rhythm and your body rhythm and your spiritual rhythm and your mental uh, rhythm um, and being passionate and it's interesting it's like it feels like passion heals you but the passion for what's coming the excitement for what's coming um, and we might have been confused we might have been in a conflict of some sort but looking at the future gives you this um, this energy right this energy feeling what's coming um, makes you spiritual and enlightened and um, patient that is a sense of heal and listen it has a sense of um, uh, patience in it and a sense of moderation and a sense of I'm gonna wait till the moment is right you know now this person so in pain over you um, Aries five of wands and the Empress they still love you they still want to nurture you they still want to be yours. They want to be your um, husband, your wife, the mother of your children, the father of your children, and yet going through challenging times, sadness, isolation, need of balance, overwhelming love. They have overwhelming love for you. That's exactly the energy. And mutual energies, you do have the strength and the two of pentacles. Maybe a Leo um, we are dealing with, Aries, or that is a Leo between you and this person. Um, and it's the energy of, um, of best behavior, is the energy of strength, is the energy of courage and also again that energy comes between the two of you and somebody is in quest for balance trying to take control. I'm more sensing that control energy is yours like being tamed and doing the work that needs to be done. Doing, you know, um, the, um, I would say the effort the dedicated effort while this person is still in quest for balance and struggling and juggling with the current situation and it's interesting it feels like two different places right one you come from a place of power and healing and intuition and enlightenment and spirituality this person struggle uh, struggles as hell over here and it's overwhelming love the empress is a lot of love but because of all the challenges it's when love becomes pain this is how it feels in that energy and i'm sensing Aries, you are moving on and you so want it and you work on it and the universe helps you with two beautiful major arcana the star the wish fulfillment and the alignment and the divine guidance and the high priestess is your own intuition and your own gut feeling you are your guide you know so it's a combination of two while healing and listening um to what is um given and told um such a beautiful energy but boy they are struggling um aries like there is no tomorrow aries moving forward absolutely a new beginning it has been a tower moment for both of you it uh, it's time to rebuild and we have twice the ace of pentacles strengthening bonds right we have a new beginning here and we are rebuilding this tower moment and we grab the opportunity with both hands that's the energy here that i'm picking up this person of yours four of pentacles they hold on to you for their dear life and with the moon they are again emotional in the shadows confused depressed um i mean honestly it feels like they are kind of in ruins of some sort you know it's like life crumbled down um for them and and they hold on to you they hold on to you and they love you and it's so painful for them the separation 
it's extremely painful and extremely challenging what is not expressed right between the two of you seven of swords and the six of cups soulmate energy but we are not acknowledging it uh, we are not um, awakened to it we are not paying attention um, it's hidden it's in the shadows but it is a six of cups energy missing each other longing is the energy of wanting reciprocation and the energy of soulmates it is but too much has happened right um, Aries when I look at your energy it's the tower moment and then loads of healing because the universe wants you to heal and have new beginnings and going back is not an option right too much has happened with the tower moment the world um, you know um, that is no way we can rebuild on this uh, the only option is to turn the page and this person again I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to say it again and again but it's all about guilt regrets uh, for conflict for pain that it was created for the lack of balance that followed the a mindless situation there challenging times and still holding on to you so Aries I believe we have to keep going here so let's see let's ask the universe should I give them another chance let's see or we let them go um, Aries miracles and blessings everything has its gift so maybe in the current situation and the painful situation and the rebuilding and strengthening bond uh, starting all over again there are miracles and there are blessings in this new beginning so we forgive them yeah doesn't mean taking them back but we forgive them for their shortcomings we forgive ourselves for our shortcomings and together the energies that we gave birth to out into the world and guess what we have intimacy some we need to forg it's forgiveness and intimacy somebody might have cheated in this situation Aries there might have been an intimacy with somebody and guess what it's not the end of the world we forgive them for this and we keep going right what else receive with love and appreciation gracious acceptance is a way to show love so we have that is a gift in this so we better accept it right we do have the rainbow reviver we need to have fun we need to forgive and just turn the page and have more fun rainbow reviver it's something new something that the spice that we bring in our life again and we do have the distorted masculine and intimacy Aries I might be picking up the energy of an Aries feminine energy and the universe is saying forgive them forgive the distorted masculine for their intimacy problems it can be any kind of problems uh, they might have cheated they might have lied betrayed or simply this is the energy of somebody having actually um, um, you know um, intimate um, distortions so however this applies to you um, Aries now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow here and we do have abundance this is what you have to tell yourself um, Aries I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality so I am a limit it's a beautiful reminder isn't it I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. You forgot about that, right? We have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So we take charge. We take charge and we make changes for our well-being and nobody is to blame. We have indecisions. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. You do have high priestess you do have high priestess at this uh, time so for some of you might be guidance let's use intuition in all aspects of our life including this situation we do have surrender worry make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life when worries arise breathe them out of your body focus on the power of your heart 
and have faith that spirit is guiding you always and bottom of the deck surrender obsessive thinking if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem so my beautiful aries this is all that i have for you guys i know it's all, it's one simple message it's not we don't have ten thousand. we have you healing and we have them in pain um and actually the universe is asking you to forgive them let them go and just see the blessing in this situation and accept it right i love this guidance here miracles and blessings everything has its gift even the current situation receive with love and appreciation the gift and the miracles and the blessings gracious acceptance is a way to show love so aries this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care